All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with all pages you can reach. Today our topic is very simple, and in the same time is going to be very helpful for the Christians. You know, when a Christians, not only Christian, I mean generally speaking, all of us as a human, most of time when we are challenged in something, let us say you are sitting between your family and <clears throat> Uh, somebody debating you about something uh, it's a, a private business a family business human being by nature he switched to defense mode because you feel that you are under attack and the attack can be different it's an attack of uh, integrity attack of uh, uh, who you are about what you did what you did not do uh, you say this you say that etc and when a human being he switched to defense mode, always he forget what is the purpose of this conversation. And the first thing they do, they don't even listen to what the other person is saying, which means he said something negative. I switched to defense mode. Mostly the first sentence he says, which is going to ignite your anger. Or let us say a rejection and then after that sentence you are not really listening carefully when Christians debate Muslims or Muslims debate Christians both of them they do one thing they switch to defense mode without even thinking about the question like what was the question because simply the question is not really important for both as much as how to answer so they take the headline of the question and they start throwing rocks at each other but both of them fail even to go through and they start say, throwing you know, rocks at each other the argument <clears throat> and today we will but show both you both of them fail why go through christians and muslims they, they all fail each other the argument. when they speak <clears throat> about uh, and today we will show you of them feel why a Christian person you ask him about the Trinity, he start quoting for you verses from the Bible. And today we will show you that this person don't believe in the Bible. Why a Christian person you ask him about the Trinity, so why you are quoting for him verses from the Bible? You see, the Bible is to use if somebody says to you a verse from the Bible, and then you have to explain for him verses from the But if that person he have a background which is mostly to use. If somebody says somehow he claimed like the Muslims that the Bible itself is coming from Allah. That person, he have a background. There's an echo. He is mostly to use. If somebody says somehow he claimed like the. I really apologize. This is was YouTube. All right, all right. We will cut this part and edit it later. Okay, 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 cool down, cool down. <sighs> Breathe. 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 Take okay, take it easy. All right, all right. All right. Okay. We go back because we will cut this part from the original video later to do anything for it. So people they can see. Is it really? It was it really annoying? I mean, in the beginning, was it really annoying to the point I need to to fix it data? I mean, or it's okay. All right, we will see. So I was saying that when Christians and Muslims, both of them, they jump into the conclusion of the question without listening to the question. Same time. Both of them, they switch to defense mode. And then the Christians usually, they always use a wrong method to answer the Muslims. A Muslim, he asks you about Jesus, you start quoting for him from the Bible about Jesus. But this person don't believe in the Bible. So why are we wasting your time? In order to refute a Muslim about Jesus, don't use the Bible. And that will make him really... Uh, 
do not know what to do. You disarm him from all the fiction he's trying to bring to us. You see, a Muslim, when he tried to debate Christianity, first of all, he is not being truthful, which means even the claim he make is he knew itself that this is not what the Bible says. This is not what the Bible says. But he make a fiction interpretation of it to fit with his claim. So why you want to waste your time in a fiction interpretation which does not exist? Just say to him, this is not what the Bible says. I know Christian believe in what you said. Now let us go to your Quran. The second you say, let's go to do his Quran, the Muslim in trouble. Because always you can refute Muslims about Christianity from the Quran and from the Hadith. And the Muslim today, because they are so ashamed of the Hadith, which is proving Islam to be stupid, they try to deny it, but they cannot do that because the Hadith is Islam, not the Quran. The Quran is a little tiny book, have almost no rules in it, and the rules are found in the Hadith. What is the punishment of rape in the Quran? Where the Quran mentioned the word rape? No way. I mean, tons of stories. So uh, the Quran says you do muta. Okay, muta, which means you can hire a woman for sex for five minutes or ten hours or one day. Okay, so do you agree with the Quran or you don't agree with the Quran? The second you say muta, they say, oh, this is abrogated. Okay, what is the abrogation? They say in the hadith. Okay, well, you said the hadith, you don't accept the hadith. So the Muslim, they play this game only with the ignorant who do not know. And Muslims always, they choose their debater. And I will give you an example. This is an article written supposedly to refute David Wood. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taking poison, rebuttal to David Wood offensive video who killed Muhammad. But you will notice the Muslims, they will not make such a thing for me. You know, I mean, this article, why it's made for David Wood? Because they want to say to him, they want to say to you, well, ignorance of Arabic language of uh, a bliss of for wood. You cannot do say that to me. So the first game they play that you don't speak Arabic, brother. You don't speak Arabic. David Wood don't speak Arabic. He do not know Arabic. Okay, but it's not David Wood who's saying that. Secondly, you need to focus in the stupidity in the article. This article is full of stupid things. Starting from here. He's going to supposedly, he says, az is a famous Arabic dictionary, Taj al-Arus, blah, 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 blah. He says, the Abhar is the vein originated from the head to extend, extend to the feet. My friend, you're a stupid as Zubaydi. He just said a stupid thing, if this is true, because there is no such a thing as going from the brain all the way to the feet. Let us go to the real you see, they, they fabricate stories. He says the word Abhar used in the Quran. It's not for the heart. Uh -huh. Are you sure? Here we go. This is the Abhar. And this is the dictionary. And we will show it in Arabic and in English. It says Orta. Not only that, which the blood is carried from the left side of the heart. See how they lie? So in his article, he said something stupid, foolish, just to defend how he's a prophet die. That he did not die because of the poison of Khaybar cutting his orta, because that will prove Muhammad to be a false prophet. But it doesn't take two seconds to go to the dictionary, and we will find in the dictionary that this is what it's meant. Even if we switch to Arabic, Arabic, and I'm using English, English, because you guys don't speak Arabic, but we prove it already in English. We can prove it in Arabic. Al-Abhar. Akbar shariyanin fi jism. Yansha'u min al-butayn al-aysar lil-qalb wa tatasha'abu minhu al-shariyin al-muta'alliqa bil-dawra al-damawiyya. I'm going to open this uh, website now in Google uh, uh, you know, browser so we can translate to English. And right away you will see that this guy is a liar. This is al al jami'ah. What else? 
this is in Marjam al Jami. Let us see this from Marjam. You see, this page provide Al Marjam al Wasit. The Marjam al Wasit. Lisan al Arab, Al Muasir, Al Raid, Al Lisan al Arab, Kamus al Muhid, Kamus Arabi Arabi. All of those are the old Islamic and Arabic dictionary. And all of them agree. Here we go. Al Abhar. أكبر شريان في الجسم ينشأ من البطين الأيسر للقلب وتتشعب منه جميع الشرايين المتعلقة بالدورة الدموية. I'm going to open the website in Islamic, uh, the Islamic, this Islamic website of dictionaries, which is nothing but dictionaries. And in the front of your eyes, we will choose to, to translate to English. As simple as that. All right. Let us do this. Too many commercial, but what we can do, I mean. All right. Let us switch. Translate to English. In the front of your eyes. And this is just a stupid translation of Google. I cannot touch it. I cannot play with it. All right. So let us see what the Abhar, when it's come to uh, to the heart, mean. Here we go. It is an artery or artery, which is the largest artery in the body, which arises from the left river of the heart. So you see, well, the guy he said that this uh, this vein is coming from the brain to the feet. But this is not what the Arabic dictionary says. So the refutation is a lie. And from their fruits, you shall know them. And who? what dictionary we have here? All dictionaries. This is the page have all the Arabic dictionaries, not only one. You see here it says, uh, definition of the man of Abhar. Hmm? A jamia, the whole Arabic dictionary. And here, go down. More dictionary, list of dictionaries. All of them are here. Look, the definition of the meaning of Abhar from dictionary of medieval dictionary, etc. You, you can read all those are names of dictionaries, which mean all the Arabic dictionary are here. And all of them agree in the same that this is what provide the heart with blood. You see it? You see it? It is to the heart. Nothing but to the heart. So in their article, they play the game of you don't speak Arabic. We speak Arabic and now we are going to show you that you are ignorant. Well, you are the donkey and you are the ignorant. First of all, you prove it to be a liar. And you have no dignity and no honesty. And the link in the front of us, and this is your Muslim website. Secondly, forget for now about what dictionary says, which we prove them, we get them busted already. What about the Quran and the Hadith? Let us see together. Is that Muslim translation or my translation? Let us go to the Hadith. Abdul, is that a Muslim translation or David Wood translation or Christian Prince translation? Do you see how they how silly they are? Because if you are saying that David Wood is ignorant in Arabic, as you said in your article, you dummy. You just to prove that all of you are a bunch of ignorant because this is here we go. The Quran translation says artery and the hadith saying the same word. And both are not translated by David Wood. So who is lying here? However, you see the title of my video? It is using Muslims 
refutation to refute Islam right so today I'm going to assume that this is stupid article is full of good information which means there's no lies there as we get them busted and let us say this guy he was successful to refute uh, David Wood as he pointed this article this website have tons of article pointed to me too uh, let us say he was successful but look what he did this idiot look what he did he just approved that he's a prophet Muhammad is an idiot not David Wood and I'll explain to you what is this article is about Muhammad did not die by cutting his orta by etc by the poison this is what the article is saying This article trying to prove to us that Muhammad did not die by the poison and he is wrong about cutting his artery. And then If we agree with this guy in his article, and by the way, the Muslims, this guy who wrote this article, he he sent the, the owner of the website asking him to take down all his article because they are, excuse my language, according to him, full of bullshit. This is what he said. They are full of errors and mistakes, and he asked saying to him, please take down my article from your website. They are full of horrible, stupid things. But I'm going to say this guy, he did win in refuting us, as he claimed. By him writing this article, but look what he just did. He just to prove to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. Why? Because Muhammad is the one who said, I am dying this way. Which means Muhammad, he did not know even how he died and what is the cause of his death. When a Muslim he says to us, Muhammad died by poison after three years of eating the poison, are you crazy? Well, the one is a crazy is your prophet then because it's not me who said that it's your prophet Do you see how easy to get them busted if they say that this is a stupid to say that the prophet he died because of the poison He is not saying to you you are a stupid He just get his a prophet busted because he just said that the prophet himself is a stupid Well, Abdul don't say that to me he say that your prophet who himself do not know what happened to him because based on the Muslims when they refute us they are saying to us that this is wrong he did not die by the poison he died a few years after so he, he you know you're not you're not saying to me you're wrong Muslims they are saying Muhammad is wrong and who there who, who is a Muslim he dare to say Muhammad is wrong you see in this stupid article why you are wasting your time just say my prophet is wrong because you are trying to prove that Muhammad did not die by the poison. And my prophet did not die by the artery. But this is the Abhar, and we showed it to you from that dictionary. So always use the refutation of the Muslims because it's funny, it is silly, and full of a spice of a stupidity, which can give you a lot of animation. You know what I mean how many times Muslims they say to us how Jesus is the son of God and yet his father did not save him don't they say that to you okay well look what he just did he just he gave me a bomb not uh, you know I mean big 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 uh, stupidity bomb he just said to me if Jesus son of God his father would save him but in Islam Allah saved Jesus so if this is the logic if he is son of God he have to be saved will he saved in Islam that means in Islam he is a son of God so he just destroyed Islam and here we have another question in front of us as long Allah he saved Jesus from death by the Jews why Allah did not save Muhammad from death by the Jews you know what I mean 
Allah he saved Jesus this is what the Muslim says okay why he saved him Allah knows best brother okay Muhammad died by the Jews so why Allah did not save Muhammad who died by the Jews by putting poison for him any Muslim have an answer that's mean in the worst in the worst explanation that Jesus is important Muhammad is not or maybe because Jesus is son of God as you said Muslims that there is no way God will let his son die otherwise you need to explain to us why Allah don't care hmm? to save Muhammad any Muslim there is some people they send me a video from uh, YouTube I mean, okay, so is it translated? I mean, if, if it's in Indonesian, how I can refute it? You know, you have to make a translation for me and send it to me so we can get him busted. Now, we are going to give you a life example how to refute Muslims from Muslim refutation. Who is a Muslim? And already we have 18 dislike. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and refute us in anything? You choose whatever you refute. Who is a Muslim would like to call us and refute us in any way he wish? Anyone? Any refutation from Muslims is against Islam with no question. You see, like you know, you see uh, Muslims, they made articles. ISIS is not Islam. Mm -hmm. if we went to, to stop ISIS we must deny deny it claim to represent Islam and serve serve it from the field of justice the founder of care this organization is a member of Hamas and he's talking about ISIS is not Islam he himself is a, the founder of this organization he was kicked from USA sent back to Gaza He's a founder of Hamas, member of Hamas, and yet this organization is speaking about ISIS is not Islam. But you see, when the Muslim they post those articles, they knew that Islam is ISIS and ISIS is Islam. But this is just for, you know, protection, taqiyya. Despite the mis, uh, 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 Misusing the name of Islamic State ISIS, little more than a criminal gang that attach, you know, attach itself to the leech, like a leech, uh, to Islam. So, so ISIS is not Islam. But you know, they cannot find us one thing ISIS did is not Islam. Show me one thing ISIS did. Muhammad did not do. Kidnapping women, raping women, cutting people to pieces, burning people alive, cutting hands and feet, putting nails in the eyes. And they say to you, but those people, they kill Muslims. And Muhammad, he says, I will kill Muslims if you don't obey Allah. It's in front of us. It's in the Quran. It's all over. So how that can be not Islamic? Is it Muhammad? He says, I've been ordered to be a terrorist, to fight and kill all mankind until they do pray as we pray, eat as we eat, slaughter as we slaughter, you know, face the qibla, etc. And then if they do that, I will not kill them and steal their property unless they break any of the previous. Do you see it? 
Muhammad is a gang member. He will take your money. He will take you. You have to pay the zakat. You have to establish the prayer. So ISIS, they kill you if you are not doing any of what Muhammad ordered you to do. Well, but this is what Muhammad said. And this is what you Muslims agree upon. Right? It's in front of you. I have been ordered. Who is talking? Muhammad. Is Muhammad now? Are you going to say to me, Muhammad is ISIS? He's a bad person? He's not a Muslim? I have been ordered what? To sp spread peace? No. To fight and kill. In Arabic, the word fi fight is coming from qatil, uqatil. Uqatil is the same word as kill, which means to fight, to kill. Not fight by throwing shoes at you. Or metaphorically like uh, I'm fighting for the sake of God in debate no Uqatil is fight by the soul against the people all mankind until they testify there's no one worthy to worship except Allah and Muhammad is the messenger and not only that they have to establish the prayer and they have to pay the zakat and then like there is a list of actually this hadith here is not complete and they have to eat as we eat, slaughter as we slaughter, face the qibla, etc. And if they do that, then they have gained protection from me. So ISIS they establish exactly what Muhammad said. If you don't do anything what the Prophet he asked you to do, then the protection is gone. And this is why they kill Muslims. This is why you see someone like an idiot. Uh, 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 his name is uh, James White. As I heard lately, he said hello to me. I'm not honored to receive your holy hello. He said that ISIS is not Islam, and those who say ISIS is Islam are liars. What an idiot! And this is a guy who is a minister in a church, he's a deceiver. Be aware of deceivers inside your building more than the one who is outside. The insider is more dangerous. He said clearly that those who say ISIS is Islam as a whole is a lie. Well, Islam as a whole is there's there's no Islam as a whole and Islam as part. This is Muhammad. Muhammad killed, Muhammad raped, Muhammad put nails in the eyes, Muhammad cut hands, Muhammad, all those rules is coming from Muhammad. And as you see, he just said, if they do any, and, and they do all of this, they gain protection from me. See how peaceful it is? And their lives and property, unless, look, even after that, unless they commit an act which is punishable in Islam. Like what? If you don't pray, you are murtad. If you go to the mosque, you are an apostate. If you don't pay the cat, you are an apostate. If you wear the clothes of the kuffar, you are an apostate. Hmm. All right, maybe we have a Muslim. Let us see what this lady want. She can call us if she want. She is a Muslim lady. This is the truth. And not only ISIS is Islam, actually ISIS is a lot nicer than Muhammad. ISIS is a lot nicer than Muhammad. You see, ISIS with all the crimes they did, I believe they did not reach. 1% of the aggression and the crimes of Muhammad. Any Muhammadan would like to call us and give us his point of view?
and you are more than welcome to explain to us and please people in the chat refrain from using bad words otherwise you force us to ban you don't use this uh, WTF that's a very rude word and if you cannot maintain your mouth clean you are welcome to leave we don't want a sink here we want the mouth of a human being I refrain from saying bad words to Muslims otherwise we will ban you too we are here to speak about Islam not about people the problem that we are you know we we grow up in a society in the street people use a bad language and then we carry this language with us until we grow became mature and then we cannot get rid of it but using those words will not make you mature actually it make you the opposite what do you what do you prove to us when you say the those words the day word? I like that saying that you are right or just because actors from California they use them in every movie well because they are perverted people they use it a human being who respect himself he can speak normally without using those words You have to be literally perverted to speak in such a language because this is what the word mean if you if her if me if etc what does that mean it's mean you are perverted you cannot keep your mouth your mouth is the same as your private part well we say dumb we say etc if somebody is a foolish we say he's a foolish but there is no need for uh, you know ugly words you see, if somebody is a fool, I will say he's a fool because he's a fool. I'm not lying. But there's words if you say it will not make, will not, will not, it's it's not right. It's stupid. Will make you look like a fool yourself, even though you are trying to prove yourself to be smart. Don't use them. Oh. Uh, Leash Mitnazar Abu Omar Al Bahath Zain Khirallah. Mr. Football, why you don't bring him to me? Who said to you I will not uh, uh, debate this guy? I mean, the Muslim they keep asking me, why you don't debate this guy? Why you don't debate this guy? Here we go, I'm live on air. What I can do? Go and drag them from their beard, says, hey, come on. Bring him, you bring him. Go and ask him the same question. He's more than welcome to call me. I don't care who's calling me. Don't give me even his name. Even he's a big shake or a small shake. I don't care. Just call me. I have no restriction. For sure, you have to be mature, you know, at least over 18 or 20 to speak to us. And the rest is not important. You don't speak English, so what I will do? Okay, what about you? Call and join him in the conversation. You translate for him. He doesn't speak English. What is an exec what an excuse? And actually, if I debate him in Arabic, trust me, he, he will he will he will be demolished. Because in English I am one percent of Christian Prince. Just one. Because English is, is not my first language. I'm limited. So if I can do what I can do in English, what do you think will happen in Arabic? There's a big chat room in Palto. Go and ask them. In Arabic, you will die laughing, literally. I will make you laugh at your religion. You you are debating me, yet you are laughing at Muhammad. This is what will happen in Arabic. Now. Uh... You know, my English is not really good. I mean, it's limited. Like when you speak about religion, uh, this is need really a very uh, powerful uh, language commands and uh, and words to use. And sometimes, and most of the time, actually, I find myself limited. However, what I have, I manage with it to explain myself. Thank God.
Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim want to refute us? Refute us in anything you choose. I'm not going to even to ask you the question you refute us. Hmm? Are you Coptic? No, I'm not Coptic. Right? Uh, no, that was a lie about uh, C. L. Edward that he left the Christianity and became a Muslim. I saw this uh, post; it's a fabricated. And anyway, I never worked with anyone. For me, this guy he was he was on TV, and uh, the TV they you know they made him speak to. Me. However, he is not a Muslim now. Hi, Kifik. Hello. Hello. Okay, I don't know what happened. Maybe it's a fake person. Let us try. Hello? <laughs> Stupid idiot. Look at this creature. He's a growing man, but he is just a kid. I feel sorry for his family. I will not be surprised if he ends homeless. Seeking attention. So who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Just ignore him, guys. This is what he's looking for. He's looking for your attention. So you will talk about him, and now he's exciting, excited, and he's moving his tail. Like, look, look, they are talking about me. Mm, stupid. This is what happened when you have a parents. They are a bunch of idiots. They get married, they have sex, and they have a boy, but they could not teach him how to grow and become a man. They grow a rabbit. This is why not everyone is qualified to have a family. Family is not about getting married, sleeping with the women, and having sex. Family is you taking care of your children and you teach them how to become a human, real people, not getting Gigi. So you can imagine what kind of parents are the parents of Gigi. If this is this is their fruits, Jesus said, "From their fruits you shall know them." Anyway, do we have any Muslim would like to call us and show us how good Islam is? Anyone? I'm not insulting people; they bring insult to themselves. Someone saying Islam is the best, Islam um, a prince is a liar. Okay, so prove it to us. Why you don't do that? Why you don't call us and prove to us that Islam is the best? I really like to see that. Who as a Muslim would like to prove to us Islam is the best? How? Because the sun set in the murky water? Is that why? Because you Muslim make articles and your articles are used against Islam and we get Muhammad busted from your own words? Come on, guys. Don't continue talking about this uh, uh, kid. Anyone will speak about this kid in the text, I will ban you. Totally. I promise. Anyone will continue talking about this kid who made a call, you will be banned. We don't have place here for kids. This is mature people conversation. We spoke about it for a second and it's gone. Who is a Muslim would like to give us a call and show us that Islam really is a good religion? Any way, any mean you wish. 
or who is a Muslim he can show us anything truthful about Islam like you know you say Quran is full of science etc I say that everything the Muslim they present to us to prove Islam is a fabricated proof who wanna prove it to us Hmm. Somebody talking about law, which is uh, forbid people from attacking religion. You see, this those law is a uh, uh, they are they are uh, <laughs> they are stupid, because look what happened. As an example, they made a law in Egypt that if you attack any religion. You go to jail, hmm. but that's mean we have to take all those who read the Quran to jail From chapter number one to chapter number whatever it is all of them attacking the Christians So what are you talking about? Oh, if you go in Facebook and you say something uh, harsh against religion we take you to court So we mute everybody in the country from using Facebook but in the street people they do it and they speak about it so what you did nothing nothing it is just a stupid trick trying to protect Islam from being in you know exposed it doesn't let you call well you have to give me your ID I will call you We don't want to go in those details, Mr. Soran. Thank you. <clears throat> Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Any Muhammadan? As you see, Muslims they have nothing really to say because Muslims they have a lot of things to say to you when you are a person know nothing about Islam. The second you are a person who do not know Arabic, you do not know much about Islam, all Muslims will jump on you. And the first thing they will use against you, they will say, Oh, you don't speak Arabic. <laughs> Look, the ignorance, brother, the ignorance of David Wood in Arabic. See, the first starting talking about him, it's about Arabic. Ignorance of the Arabic language is a bliss for Wood. Who want to call me and say ignorant of a, ignorance of a Christian prince in Arabic? And by the way, David Wood, he is not the one who come with this. I mean, it's even in your translation. The hadith in English translated by Muslims and the Quran translated by Muslims. So, why you are saying the ignorance of the Muslim? Isn't this your translation? Is that your website or my website? Huh? Is this your website or my website? Do you see how silly they are? Suddenly, it is with the problem. I don't speak Arabic. All of you Muslims don't speak Arabic. So if you not being ignorant in Arabic, you cannot speak about Islam. That means ninety nine percent of Muslims they have the right no 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 right to speak about Islam. How this guy who call himself Ustad from Indonesia he teach our, uh, Indonesian people about Islam. He knew two Arabic words, Bismillah al and then after that he starts speaking Indonesian. And yet, in the top of that, they call him Ustad, which means master, teacher. 
تاني يا عبدول تاني يا استاذ Answer me. Silence me. Elijah means God with us. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, not only you are bad in uh, in, uh, in Hebrew, you are, you know, and you don't know Arabic. I know I'm going to school you. Mockery. Mockery of stupidity. The guy who is talking himself is a stupid, making mockery of the smart man. The smart man, he said everything right. He said in Islam, Allah have parts. He said in Islam, Allah, he pray on Muhammad. He did not lie. The one who speak Arabic make him mockery of his Arabic and Hebrew, but yet he don't really, he, he did not be honest in Arabic. He knew, he knew what the word you suddenly mean. Do we have any Abdul? And you cannot do mockery with a Christian prince. Try. This is another reason they don't dare to debate me because the one who will try to do mockery, I'm not nice and kind like David would. The second you turn to be a potato, I will fry you. You speak as a man, I will talk to you as a man. You speak as a kid, I will humiliate you. No mercy. So try your mockery on us. And you notice like when a Muslim Sheikh, he called me and he's speaking nicely, etc. We speak to him nicely all the way to the end. And we stand at the end. We say to him, greeting, peace to you. Nice talking to you. The second you want to be rude and you want to be bad and you want to make a, make a mockery, don't even try. Any Abdul would like to call us? Yeah, tons of verses which is foolish. Uh, where is the Muslims here? Any Muslim would like to call us? Are we going to keep saying any Muslim? We have a 21 Muslims who give us dislike. So from the 21 Muslims, we could not find one Muslim who want to call us? Is that really possible? Mission impossible? I will not ask you a question. You tell me what you want to say. Just tell me what you want to say. And by the way, Faris, Faris, he sent me a text in Arabic saying to me, let us debate. I said, okay. Choose a date and, uh, you know, and uh, we will debate in, uh, professionally. Yeah. Uh, Faris, what, what date? What? I'm here every day. Call me now. Faris will debate me, even Faris. Why you wanna? Let us choose a topic so we can uh, prepare for it. Why you wanna choose a topic? You choose a topic. Call me now. I don't. I don't want to know the topic. Those who wanna choose a topic two months in advance because they are potatoes and they need to go and print one thousand pages from the internet so they can read what is they printed. As simple as that. It's like going to exam and asking the teacher to give you the questions a month in advance. Correct? Why we need to choose a topic? No topic. You you make it. Go. Call me. I'm ready. Are you? Choosing a topic by those, and not only that, like a, choose a date and choose a topic, and, blah, 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 and now we debate about debating. Three minutes for you, three minutes for me. 
especially like those debate with like 10 minutes 10 minutes for 15 minutes for this guy and 15 by the time you finish 15 minutes the, the people are slept what kind of debate this debate is people they go to the stage everybody have a printed paper he type it in the computer before he show up or he memorize it and then they say what they just type in the computer so what is the debate the debate is you counter somebody saying something in the moment crossfire talk not 15 minutes for you 15 minutes okay i ask you a question you go speak for 15 minutes you did not answer my question so what i will do now give you the microphone back and says you did not answer take the mic for 15 minutes again because muslim they will not answer muslims what they do they talk about anything Except the question you answer, you, you ask them. Like Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, if you ask him how Muhammad died, he will say there is many books and many reference, and some reference they contradict other reference, and there is some reference don't agree with the other reference, and however there is many reference which is not accepted, and uh, you know uh, uh, as many scholars they say it. That the reference can be contradicted and can be rejected and some reference can be accepted thank you okay what is the answer i did not ask you about reference who reject who what, where is your answer no there is no answer this is Jabir Ali. the reason because you just have nothing against him he said nothing because simply he just said nothing it's like somebody says to you what is the age of Aisha when when the prophet get married he said ask this question to uh, to uh, to uh, Sabir Ali uh, there's some hadith says that she was six years old however there's some articles lately appear and they say that she was over 18 this is not the I'm asking you what hair was what you you what is her age What some article said and some article said according to you you claim to be a sheikh you grow your beard you put you put manure there after all the manure you put in your beard what is the age of Aisha brother Shabir Ali he will take the mic again uh, as I said there is uh, many articles uh, the punk in this idea that Aisha she was six years old however we have to take into consideration all the article and all the proofs and disapprove and then after that we have to make a study about all the reference and then we have to come to a conclusion thank you very much shabir ali for the sake of the shin of allah what is the age of aisha when she got married according to you they will not give you an answer this is how to avoid and this is why you cannot do a debate of like 10 minute 10 minute because he will take the microphone for 10 minutes he will say nothing you have to squeeze him the same as the angel Jibreel squeeze Muhammad look Jibreel he squeezed Muhammad three times saying to him read okay after squeezing three times tell Muhammad he will not read that is debating Muslims he came to him in the cave of Hera and he squeezed him three times and he said the angel came to him and he asked him to read the prophet replied I do not know how to read the prophet added the angel cut me forcefully and he pressed me so hard that I cannot even bear it anymore then he released me and again he said to me ask me to read I replied I did not know how to read thereupon the angel he cut me again and he pressed me second time till I could not bear it no more and then he released me and he said to me read it and I could not and then I said I cannot read and then I do not know how to read and then upon he cut me for the third time this is what you need to do with Mushabir Ali you have to cut him squeeze him three times you have to force him to answer the question squeezing debate have you ever heard of an angel squeezing his prophet three times to just to just to make him say read i mean who is a stupid here 
There's something stupid in this story. If the angel he squeezed Muhammad first time and the guy he said to him, I don't know how to read. And so, so is it the angel he supposed that he knew that uh, Muhammad do not know how to read? And the one who's saying to him, by the way, read is Allah. Why Allah saying to Muhammad, the one who do not know how to write, how to read, read? Actually, this story here is a proving to us that Muhammad is a false man. Let me explain it to you in a very simple way. <laughs> All right. Supposedly, this is the first chapter Muhammad he received when the uh, when the angel he squeezed him three times. Read in the name of the Lord. Who is the one saying that, guys? Who is the one saying that? Who is the one saying read in the name of the Lord? Anyone knows? Is that Jibril or Allah? Is that Jabir or Allah? This is the word of Allah. Okay. Isn't it the Muslim they say to us? If Allah wants something to be, he say be is going to be. Don't they say that? Okay. Allah, he said to Muhammad, read. Because Jabir is not the one who's speaking. He's just carrying the order of Allah. Allah said to Muhammad, read. Muhammad said, I cannot read. That means Allah is a false god. Bingo. You see, if Allah is God, even if He say to a donkey, read the donkey will read in all languages. Because Almighty God, He can do things by saying be. Be and it was. So Allah He sent to Muhammad the three time read, and still Muhammad could not read. Look like Muhammad was so slow to the point the power of Allah is not working. Right. Otherwise, I I would like to hear any Muslim saying to me, "Why Allah He said to Muhammad three times read, still he can't read." And look here, by the way. Look how stupid this sentence is here. Anyone notice the stupidity? Read in the name of your Lord, the created man from a clot. We are not created from a clot. Clot is a congealed dead blood. Are we created from dead blood? No. What kind of God he says such a statement unless he is a silly idiot God? Do you see it? Are we really created from dead blood? Right away, the God of Islam speaking science. Secondly, what this have to do with the first, first verse? What this verse have to do with read? Read. Read in the name of Allah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The name of your Lord, uh, the one who create. And then he says, a created man out of mere clot, congeal the blood. And they are here the translation he says proclaim so how you translate look they switch the word read to proclaim why they are trying to find the solution because if Muhammad do not know how to read then we say proclaim but this is stupid anyone knows why this is stupid anyone knows why this is stupid Proclaim. Imagine somebody say to you, proclaim, and you say to him, I cannot proclaim. You just did. <laughs> I mean, do you see how stupid this story is? Imagine I say to you, repeat after me. And then you say to me, I cannot repeat. You just did. Because you just say the word repeat. Or what I said to you, one word. 
I say to you one word and you repeat the word and you say to me I do not know how to repeat you just did so in order to cover the stupidity of what he said by read they try to switch it to make it proclaim which is a false translation it's read because if it's proclaim or he proclaim already a child he can proclaim anyone can proclaim so why he was saying to him I cannot uh, 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 if this is if we switch the word in the hadith from proclaim from read to proclaim why Muhammad saying to him I cannot proclaim he just said to you one word you did repeat it that's mean you can proclaim Any Abdul? You need just a little, little IQ, you know, and you will notice that the story here is silly and stupid, literally. But the problem is that most of people they read, they don't really go deep between the words and, and examine the story to find out how silly it is. It's a very stupid story. Do we have any Muslim? Give me your uh, Skype ID and I will add you if you like to speak to us. Who is a Muslim would like to speak to us? And we promise you we will not squeeze you in order to get the question from you. We will do we will use different method, more peaceful. And here, by the way, any Muslim can explain to us why the first time the angel he see the prophet he did not say to him, Peace on you. You know what I mean? First time you see the guy, right away you start squeezing him. What about shaking hands first? You just met the guy and you are coming from Allah. Shouldn't you say assalamu alaikum, the greeting of Islam? Obviously, this is the greeting of Islam wasn't exist at that time. Muhammad, he learned from the Jews. Assalamu alaikum, this is Jewish. Uh, go, go to Jerusalem, see what the Jews they say to you. Assalamu alaikum, this is a greeting of the Jews. This is not Islamic. Everything in this cult is a hijack. When the angel came to Mary, he said to her, Salamu alaikum. Peace unto you, O Mary. So why the angel, he came to Muhammad first time, he did not say peace to you? Why? He's coming in war? He's angry for Muhammad? Jews say salam alaikum, not salam. You idiot. Well, I can't tell who is the idiot here. Salam is shalom. This is coming from the Arabic, from the Aramaic word, shlama. So, Muhammad he took it from the Hebrew. He added exactly as it is. In his religion, any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and show us one, one truthful thing about Islam? You choose a topic. Anyone? Salam, Salam. This is in the Bible, my dear sister. You do not know what the, what the angel says to Mary. What the angel said to Mary when he came to her. 
Salamu alaikum. Salam to you. Alaikum is for a group, to you as a person, one. This is this is very Jewish and very Christian. And Muslims have nothing to do with it. Here we go. Here we go. The angel he came to Muhammad. Where, where is the word assalamu alaikum? Where is the word assalamu alaikum when the angel came to Muhammad? Who wanna show it to me? As you see, this is the Quran. And not only that, they fabricated verses and they add them. Look, they add in the front, front in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Why are you added there? If this is not in the Quran, why are you added there? Fabrication. Hmm. Any Muslim would like to call us? Everything Muhammad he have is taken from somebody. If you go in the Quran, as an example, we find the story of uh, the seven sleepers. You read the story, you die laughing. Shall we examine the story for the sake of comedy? It's a comedy day. Read with me carefully. Allah is talking now about what? About a bunch of Christians, youth, young Christians, who they are, there is people talking about their story. And Allah now will tell us the story. Some they say they were three and their dog is number four, and some they say they were five and their dog is number six. Doubtfully, guessing at the unknown, which means number of them, they say they were seven and their dog is number eight. Say Allah knows best their numbers. Look what the answer. This is Shabir Ali talking. Here we go. Shabir Ali, what is the number of those people were there? He will say to you. Some they say they are three and their dog is number four. And no, that, that, let's go to Zakir Naik. Christian Prince, I told you to call me. Uh, uh, just hold on, Zakir Naik. I just have a little tiny question. It's very small. I know exactly what thing. I want to do you. Hey, okay, what is the question? You are going to ask me why. Thabir Ali speak exactly like Allah. Man, you 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 are reading my uh, my my mind. I wasn't reading your mind. I was listening to you, you stupid. You just said that. Uh, okay. So uh, what do you think, uh, Zakir Naik? What the, why Allah is saying that? I mean, what the point of this? Allah is making us more excited. As an example, if you watch a movie, and then they tell you the end of the story from the beginning, what the point? Ah, Zakir Naik, you get a point here. Absolutely, I get a point. And you get a point that's up there. The set of the asking question. And because Allah want to make us excited. So he said to us, say there are three, and some that say they are the bottom of the four. Zakana, uh, uh, can you repeat that again? Say there are three, and then they get the bottom of the four. I did not get it. Can you go slower? I'm getting excited. As I told you, this verse make me excited. Are you stupid or what? Ah, okay. Yeah, right. You told me that Allah is trying to make us excited, and you are getting really excited. Absolutely. And I can tell you, even my hair now is going up. Which hair? In me, my beard. Okay. Uh, let us go back to the topic, uh, Zach and Nick. Forget about the hair of your beard. So why Allah is saying that? I'm giving you the story. So Allah said, there were three and the dog in the four. And then what people said. And some people that say that they are four and the dog in the five. And some people that say they are six and the dog in number seven. And Allah, he wanted to salute them all and make them get them busted. And he said, only Allah knows the number. Uh, oh, hold on, Zach and I. The verse says that Allah knows their numbers, and there is other few people they knew the numbers. Exactly. Okay, who are the those who do the number? Only Allah knows best. So Allah do not Allah Allah know the number, and those people a few 
we know the number, the correct number. But what is the number? This is mystery, and this is the point. Because until now, we are looking for the number. And if we know the number, then we are going to relax and we go to deep. But Allah, he don't want us to sleep. He want us not to be relaxed. He want us only to be thirsty and studying. And the prophet said, if you want to learn something, go to Hong Kong. He said, go to Hong Kong? Exactly. And where are you now? In Bangladesh. Actually, in, in, uh, in Malaysia, sorry. Where is, what is, where is the wisdom of the story? Hmm? This is God talking? Some they say their dog, they are three and their dog is number four. Some they say they are four and their dog is number five. Some they say they are five and their dog is number six. Are we going to continue until tomorrow saying that? What is the number? Just give us a number, man. What is the number? All of this because they asked Muhammad how many they are. And Muhammad didn't know. He was afraid if he say four and their dog is number five, he will be wrong. If he say they are five and their dog is number six, he will be wrong. If he say that, and by the way, how you say their dog is number six? How you say their dog is number five? You see, you cannot say, this is stupid in Arabic, stupid in English too. You cannot count the dog as number five if they are four. Because he is not a human. Do you understand? We can say four men and one dog, but we cannot say four men and their dog is number five because we just counted the dog as a human. Are you getting my point? This is wrong in Arabic and this is wrong in English. If you want to count, you say four human and one dog because there's only one dog. Not four and number five is the dog. Hmm. Any Abdul? Uh, Muhammad Hijab, what about you? Give me, uh, give me your Skype. Let us see who you are. Give me your Skype. Any Mohammedan? You think you are right because you don't understand? Okay, and sorry, are you are you a person who think he is right because he understand? What about you call us and tell us what you understand? Why you don't do that? I mean, why you are not uh, giving us your knowledge, my friend? Show us what you understand. As I know, no Muslim understand anything. Hmm? Here we go. Do you know how many they are? They are seven or six or five or what? Do you understand? We don't. You are just having fun? And we are having fun too. Hmm. You are having fun. Yeah, I wish I can make a movie, especially when your prophet he tried to commit suicide jumping from the top of the high mountain. It says, when Walak ibn Nofal died, the inspiration was also passed for a while, and the prophet became so sad, as we have heard, he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. Brother, go to the pharmacy and get your prophet some depression medication. Why a prophet of God, he trying to commit, and the funny, the, the, the Muslim, they say, Jesus committed suicide. This is what they say. They make fun of you. They say, Jesus committed suicide. Hmm. Contact me at life, uh, etc. Well, this is the same kid who called us before. Aren't you the same kid? This is the same kid. You want to bring insult to you again? 
Is that what you are trying to do? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Anyone? Who is a smart Muslim would like to give us a call? By the way, you have to be careful. When you say smart Muslim, Muslim get offended. It doesn't matter what you say, they get offended. So I do not know what to say. If I say smart Muslim, they will say he is insulting. If I say not smart Muslim, they will say he is insulting. It doesn't matter what you say, they will say he is insulting. They are just looking for excuse to say you are insulting. <clears throat> Let us see this guy if he is a kid or not. Maybe he's not, but I think he is. The same kid who called before to make a stupid statement. Let us see. Answer, Walid. Let us see if you are not. Wow, that's nice. That's what you have for me? Hmm. Hello? That's it. You challenge me to call me, etc. Now let me show you how you get your profit busted from the chapter you caused for me. Hmm. You see the title of my video? Using the Muslim refutation to get them busted. ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين. I mean, who is the stupid speaking here? Guys, this is a book. No doubt about it. For those who fear Allah. Okay, what did the word alif lam mi mean? You will say to me, I do not know. So how you say there's no doubt if we do not know even the meaning? Hello? <laughs> Brother, this is a clear book. Uh, okay, so what the verse before it, what it is? He played this for me, this verse in the audio. And the Muslim, they bring you somebody, have a nice voice to sing for you to make you believe that the Quran is a nice book. You want to see how the Quran sound like? Go and uh, 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 hear the recitation of Muhammad Hijab. You will die laughing. You will die literally laughing. So look what he chose for me. That this is a book with there's no doubt about it because it's so clear. Okay, what is Alif Lam mean? What does that mean? They will say to you, Allah knows best. And you you know, you want me to call you just to play this uh, the little uh, thing for me? You don't have the guts even to say hi? Okay, it doesn't block you. What a potato. In the same chapter, as long you are saying to me, there's no doubt about this book. Look what you got, Allah. This is the same chapter you told me. It says, "Inna ladina kafaru suwa alayhim and thartahum am lam tundirahum la yu'minun." Look at this madness. Those who just reject Islam, if you warn them or not, they will not believe. But this is that's me. Muhammad is a false prophet because you just said the people of Quraysh they will not believe, and the Arab they will not believe. All of them they reject Islam. Muhammad in this stage, he was facing difficulty. Nobody want to believe in him. So he come with this. And those who reject faith, it is the same of them, to them, whether you warn them or not, they will not believe. But this is the most stupid statement ever. Because the same people who he said to them, you warn them or not, they will not believe. They believe later. So Muhammad, absolutely false prophet. So thank you for reminding me about this verse. Kabich, correct guys. 
divine simple guys it's a divine simple it's an Arabic letters you idiot how Alif Lam Mim is a divine simple if it's an Arabic letters did you Allah he came with them or we exist before Islam divine simple guys Alif Lam Mim is divine simple and how will your prophet make a false prophecy because he just said you warn them you don't warn them they will not believe so what the prophecy was they will never believe who is a tribe but later all of them they became Muslims so it was a false prophecy I mean how clear we can make it more than this and why they can't believe a brother look at this look at this idiot Allah has set seal their heart brother and they're hearing in their eyes so they cannot understand okay what the heck so Allah is upset from them for rejecting the faith because he is the one who sealed their heart have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this he sealed your heart and then he is blabbling about it because why you are not rejecting the faith why you reject the faith Allah you sealed our heart I forgot yeah I have to open the yeah the cork mm -hmm. And what about what you don't see? Yeah, because Allah, you close our eyes, you make it blind. Ah, yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. Mm, I forgot. I need to take the fold from your eyes. Mm. And why you don't hear the prophet? Uh, because uh, Allah, you did, uh, 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 you know, make us mute. We cannot, uh, uh, deaf, we cannot hear. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. I have to take the cork from your ears. So Allah is the one who closed their heart, their ear, and their, and, and he is wondering why they can't breathe. It's like a guy he got just get married and he have his hand over the nose of his wife and his mouth in her mouth and then he wonder why she died from not breathing he let her breathe so Allah close your eyes he close your nose he close your mouth he close your heart I don't know what else he close and then after that he wonder why you can't breathe have you ever heard of a God like this This is a professional idiot. Even Mr. Bean does not do that. I mean, like Mr. Bean, he, uh, you know, he want to send a letter with a stamp. You know what happened? He ended in the mailbox. This is Allah. Allah want to send a letter to you. And Muhammad is the stamp. But Allah, in the same time, he will not make you see where the location of the mailbox. And where is the hole in the mailbox. And you cannot even hear the sound of the post office. And then he was wondering why you are not sending me a letter to accept Islam. Mr. Bean. This is Mr. Bean. This is the best you have for me to pray for me a uh, Quran. Any Abdul? Any Muslim? <laughs> the Muslim they say that Abraham he built the Kaaba. No, my friend, the Quran does not say really that Abraham is the he, he built the Kaaba. The Quran claimed that Abraham. You see, the Quran is a stupid book. So, what the Quran supposedly is speaking about that he 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 left up the Kaaba. Which mean the Kaaba was there, but was destroyed. He rebuilt. He rebuilt the Kaaba. According to Muslims, the one who first uh, first uh, uh, built the Kaaba it was the angels, and then there is a flood of Noah came, and the black stone was hidden in a mount which is close to to Mecca. Uh, it's called the Mount of Abu Qubais. So the Mount of Abu Qubais, he did swallow the black stone to preserve it. When when the flood of Noah uh, finished and the Kaaba was totally is a scattered, is gone. The only stone left is the black stone. So what Abraham he did, he rebuilt the Kaaba. He raised the foundation. 
However, the story have no proof except one witness. His name is Muhammad. <clears throat> And you know, uh, remember here, if the one who built the Kaaba was uh, Abraham, right? This is what they say. That means there was a messenger, not only one, actually two. Abraham, at least Abraham and Ishmael. According to Muslims, because Muslim, Muslim, they think Ishmael is a is a prophet. But this is a total contradiction to the Quran, where the Quran says that before you, we never send any warner to Mecca. Anyone remember which chapter is that? Who remember what chapter says we never sent to you Mecca any warner before Muhammad just to show you how you get them get them busted easy who remember <coughs> well I have to block you obviously you're not a Muslim you're just playing games take care kid Let us show you again. Always remember you can refute Muslims from their refutation from your books. Don't use your logic, use their logic. Okay. This is the chapter. What the chapter says. And look at the translation here says just in the same way we whenever we send them a warner before thee but doesn't say that it says different verse if you change the translation always the Muslims they have their own translation You see how the translation change and thus we did not send before you any warner in town which town he's talking about mecca how we can prove that this verse is not enough the muslim they will say oh he didn't mean that okay what about this one? But we had not given them book or books which they could study, nor sent a messenger to them before thee as a warner. I mean, how clear we can make it. Isn't it clear that there is no messenger sent and there's no books? The Muslim, they might say, this is not enough. What else? Hmm. Or they do say, the same chapter, actually, the one who quote for us, he was, you know, we got, uh, a book for, for, you know, it says, or do they say, he has a fraud that, nay, it is the truth from the Lord. Two people, whom no warner has came before thee to guide them. Okay, so how then Abraham and Ishmael were there? Are you getting the point? You see how many verses? All the verses are proving that Muhammad, he was the first warner to Mecca. So how you say that Abraham and Ishmael were there? Are we taking notes, guys? 
Do you see how easy to refute Muslims using the refutation, which means using their books? If Abraham is the one who built the Kaaba and Ishmael was there, so why the Quran saying there's no warner came to Mecca before Muhammad? That is stupid. That's literally stupid. Remember that Abraham is a prophet. He's the father of the prophets. So how are you saying? And then the Muslim they say even Ishmael is a prophet. And even they say that Muhammad himself is descended from Ishmael, which is a lie. Okay, if Ismail is the father of the Arab as they claim, which is a lie, even though their books agree that in their book it says, I don't agree with that at all, that Ishmael he learned Arabic at the age of 11. Some they say 14. He married from an Arab woman, so he's not an Arab. So how he married from the Arab and Muhammad is descendant from the Arab and Ishmael is not the first warner to Mecca and he is the one supposedly the water of Zamzam was open for him. The Muslim they claim there's a miracle happening in Zamzam that his mother she wanted to give water to her son and Allah opened the spring of Zamzam. Why you say Islam is not Abrahamic? First of all, to, to be Abrahamic is not about being from born from Abraham. Abrahamic is a faith. When we say Abrahamic, it's a faith. Secondly, what Islam have to do with Ishmael? This is what we are talking about. Are you deaf? What Ishmael have to do with Islam? Nothing. Muhammad hijacked all the names in the world, which is famous. Alexander the Great is a Muslim in Islam. Gilgamesh is a Muslim. He found the fountain of youth. Anyone is famous, Muhammad, he put him in his book. An atheist he's saying Abraham was a terrorist because he broke the idols of the pagans. Hmm. Should I say, uh, brother, you get a point? I mean, atheists always they have their own way of thinking, but pagan themselves they used to kill each other for for. Uh, for the same reason at least he killed no one hmm? if he did that the Arab around the Kaaba they did not you know they did not fight each other this is true but Abraham have nothing to do with the Kaaba anyway any Muslim We need a video with the weaver singer with this guy, you know, just ignore him Anyone the Muslims they praise it's mean he is false Imagine there's a Jewish guy and the Muslim they support him. Isn't it obvious? However, I made a video which will make the Muslims ashamed of supporting him He claimed that the birth of Virgin Mary is a Greek mythology Which means the Quran is a false book he don't dare to say the Quran's false book. He prays Islam always, you know, defend Muhammad. He's a hypocrite man. He's a businessman. He's a Jewish businessman who live in Indonesia, make money in Indonesia, so he will not speak against Islam. So do we have any Muslim would like to say anything? Any Ustad? If you remember the guy from Indonesia, he made a video speaking about Greek mythology. But he's an idiot. He said in the Greek mythology, the word or the Logos became a man. The Logos is God became a man. Is what he said. And by the way, all those are uh, uh, those books or they are written. It's just a theories. There's no proof even what they like they believe they are talking about. There's no proof of it. However, this idiot he forgot that even Muhammad he believed that the Quran in the judgment they will come as a human being, as a man. He will go. The word of Allah is coming as a man.
They are stupid. That's why I'm saying use their argument to refute them. Use their argument to get them busted. It's very easy. And then, and, and the additional to that, they lie. As an example, they say that the Christian of Jesus is taken from Buddha. What are you talking about? They say that Buddha was born of a virgin. Who is the stupid? He said that to you. Who said to you that Buddha is born of a virgin? He have you know he have tons of kids, for, uh, brothers and sisters. What are you talking about? What virgin? She have a husband. The women and the man they were jailed. The husband and the wife. They made them virgin. They made the mother virgin. I mean, they fabricate stories just to prove a point. But by the way, that the one who wrote that book speaking about Jesus from Buddha, he just got Islam busted because he just said that this story is coming from Buddha and the Quran is a lie. Well, Muhammad, he copied many things, including what the Word of God, but Muhammad do not know what the Word of God. And I will explain it to you. What is the Word of God? No Muslim can tell you what is the Word of God. Oh, what they knew, the Quran is the Word of God. And then, you ask the Muslims, is the, is the Quran created? They will say no. Okay, so now we have two and created divine. Is the holy is the Quran is holy? They say yes. Is the word of God is holy? Yes. Okay, is the Quran created? They say no. So now we have Allah and the Quran are created. But yet not a single Muslim, including Muhammad, can tell us what is the word of God. Or what they knew that it's not created and it is holy. So look what happened in Christianity when you say the word of God or you speak about the word of God right away from the chapter 1 and verse number in John it says exactly what is the word of God the word of God is God God himself and his word is one in Islam we have a problem now is the word of Allah is the same as Allah they say no okay is the word of Allah created by Allah they say no. Okay, is the word of Allah as a created? They say no. So now we have two and a created divine. The Christian they speak of a trinity, but they have one God. For the word of God is God. But Muslims they have they speak of one God, or they claim monotheism as not a trinity, as a form of monotheism, because trinity is monotheism too. But the Muslim they say there's no Trinity. But look what happened now. We have God and His words are separated and they are not one, and both of them are not created. So now we have two. And that is a big problem. Two and a created holiness or holy. Allah and the world. What we would do with it now? And you know what? When you say that the word of Allah isn't created, it's coming from where then? Any Muslim can explain? As long as the word of Allah is not created, it's coming from where? An atheist asking in Arabic, please uh, ask any questions in, in English so people, they can get the benefit. Otherwise, we will ignore your questions. If the Quran separate between the Torah and the Injil, why the Christians, they gather the two books together? Because in the, he's continue saying, his question is not coming in the correct way. He's like wondering why the Christian did not separate between the book, the Old Testament and New Testament, especially the Old Testament have stoning, slavery, and the New Testament is better. That's your understanding, my friend. Secondly, we cannot separate between God words and God words. 
in the Old Testament is not all of it God is speaking you see when we say God the, the, the Bible is the Word of God some naive people they take it literally that every letter there is the Word of God that's not true the devil is speaking there the bad people are speaking there you know what I mean the Bible is not the same as the Quran the Quran is in front of us Muslim they claim that every single letter there is the, from the mouth of Allah the Bible is a book of books not, it's not a book it's a collection of books and those those books contain stories history uh, 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 people uh, 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 killed each other they rape each other uh, uh, they did the crimes uh, kings attacking kings it's, so it's a book of history but that book of history have words of God so when God he said it's God he said when a man he said that the word of a man so if you are a, a person who is a growing in your maturity you should recognize that this book yes we call it holy book because there's holiness in it but it doesn't mean that every letter there is written by the hand of God or said by God as an example David David there's chapters about David there's many many things about David but David is a person who committed adultery and committed sin Abbas is a driving and calling me yes Abbas hello how are you hold on let me I just want to make a quick point sir. okay Abbas how are you I'm not too bad yourself I'm very good what do you want to say to us Abbas just, just to want to make a quick point. Mm. Um, you said uh, in, in Islam mm. the the Quran is not created. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Where does it say that Quran is not created? Okay. So you quote, quote me a verse or a hadith. All right. So uh, I want first your understanding first. Are you saying the Quran is created? No, 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 no. I'm asking you. You, you say no problem, no problem. But I want to know because you are saying to me when it says that. that. No, no. When, when you say, I'm trying to understand you, uh, Abbas. Let us talk. Like, let us talk as no, much. No, no, no. Why you don't do, don't do that? The, don't do the no, same as Shabir Ali, please. please. Don't do. I will answer you. I, I don't do like Shabir Ali. I'm asking you. According to you, is Quran created or not? Quran is not created. Uh, Quran is not created. So what you are saying to me? Why it's not created? Why you are saying well, prove it to me if you believe? Look, 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 look at this madness. Look, 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 hold on, hold on. You are saying to me, prove to me that the Quran is not created, well, I'm, I'm, and you believe that the Quran I'm is not created. To you. Huh? What Muslims say when Muslims say that what they mean by that? There's a difference here. Uh -huh. It says eternal Quran. Quran is the eternal word of God. Mm. That's what the Quran and they say that. Mm. So of course, in the middle, you can't say because we do not have that knowledge. To what what to say so we mm. don't say created because when you say created mm. you have different meanings mm. what does you, that mean? you mean different things but we say Quran is the eternal word of God no problem what is now, that? The, what eternal point, mean what eternal mean? thank you thank you very much you need to understand what eternal means there mm. okay okay before I explain that you conceded mm. that there is nowhere in Islam anywhere it says Quran is created or not created you agree with me? You just just to show you how silly Abbas is. He just said in Islam nowhere it says Quran is created or not created, but he believes Islam. Thank you very much. He believes. So hold on, no, 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 hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Hold on. You just said in Islam nowhere it says that Quran is created or not created, but yet you believe that the Quran is not created. Because are you stupid or what? Because there are implications when you say it's created. there is implication. So you Muslims, you you judge your religion based in implication, not in facts. Oh, you doing the same thing? No, I'm not doing. doing exactly I said the, the Muslim thing. says that. I did not when say I said that. I just said everybody heard me. The Muslims believe that Quran is not created, and now you call yes. me, and you now yes. you are the one who called hold me on. and said, "Oh, hold on, hold on." No, and no, the no. first question no, you no, gave no, me, no, 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 the no, first no, no, question you, you gave me, first. where in Islam but it says Quran is not me. created? So okay. I thought you, you are challenging me. To show me where it says that. Did you yes, you, my friend, you are the one who said, "Show me." So now I ask you. So is it there is a proof of that? You said this is implication. 
so you yourself you accept a very major fact that in Islam there's implication not a fact you Muslims you believe in but something you, not proven to be true but, so this is what you just say there's no yeah, proof you are the one who say, you are the one who's trying to prove that point to me you say to me there's nobody no one no Quran no hadith says that Quran is not created or uncreated doesn't matter you just say to me no hadith you just said no hadith no no quran says the quran is not created you said that so now you come with the conclusion that the quran is not created you said how we come to the conclusion if there's no hadith and there's no quran saying that go ahead i don't hear you yes I don't hear you, Abbas. Your voice is cutting. Say inshallah, say inshallah. That will fix your microphone. Abbas. <coughs> Here we go. But why? He's using the internet of the neighbors, as all Muslims do. Abdul, how you come to the conclusion? How you come to the conclusion that the Quran is not created? As long you say there is no hadith and no Quran saying that. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, how you come to the conclusion that the Quran is not created? Go ahead. As long as there's no hadith and no Quran saying that. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go. No, we, we I answer you the question to what we why we say created, uh, not created, and uh, created. We don't why didn't say created because it's the word of Allah. First of all, how you but come to the conclusion word, that it is not a created? It's a word. It's a, my friend, how you come to but the conclusion we, as long there's no hadith and there's no Quran saying such a thing? How you come to this conclusion? Go ahead, I'm listening. I'm a, I'm a, I'm answering you. The right word to say is Quran is eternal word of God. This is the right way of saying it. And what does that have to do with the creation? Well, now, I, d I did not ask you eternal no, or what, not. What, I'm asking you, is it created or not? This what, is the question. You said it's not. A, it's not created. I'm asking you now again. Well. Why you come it, with the conclusion is not created if it's it's eternal no problem, but does it have a point of a start? Yes, hmm. yes, it has so, a point of start. So who is, who, who, who is the it one who is the one who okay the point of a start that means it's a created No, what? no, 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 no <laughs> Okay, point you just said you just said you just said there's creation. a point that you just said that the point there's a point the word of Allah is not exist Are you saying that? No, no, no what we're saying is Quran always exists in in the knowledge of God it mm. always exists in the knowledge of God then there was a point in time mm. when it was spoken okay so, so you are saying that Allah, exactly okay hold on is. so you are saying Allah okay, hold on hold on you have to explain. You hold have to on explain. hold on no no I, 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 I'm, I'm going, going with you I'm going with you so you are saying that Allah before billions and billions of years he having had the guy his name is Muhammad and he is going to visit his own son and he will like her legs and he will make a verse for him that he can have sex with her you are saying that I'm not saying that no you, I'm not saying that you just yes, say the Quran is exist always in the knowledge of Allah I'm not saying it. you just say that you Quran, said the Quran is exist Quran in the knowledge of Allah. Did you say the Quran is exist in the knowledge of Allah always? It's always in the knowledge of God. Okay. Yes. Of Allah, what, not God. What so the, Allah, time, Allah in His Allah knowledge, comes. always, always before Allah. We don't know how long Allah is exist. You know, right? So He's eternal, right? So since billions and billions of years, Allah, He have this verse in His head. Are you saying that? That Muhammad, you can have the, the 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 wife of your son, and you can you can have sex with her. This is a verse was in the head of Allah since billions of years. If you give me a chance to speak, I'm listening. You're not giving me a chance to speak. You're cutting me off every single time. I want I'm to explain asking myself. You, you cut me off because we don't want you to deceive us. Okay, now listen to me. When, when I run away. It so answer: Is this verse exist in yeah. the head of Allah? Are you still not letting me speak? Is this verse exist in the head of Allah of before the before the Quran yeah. come to existence? There are some honest people listening to you right now, and they are my friend. You are trying to avoid the answer because it's very embarrassing. Uh, are you saying that this verse was exist in the knowledge of Allah before the Quran is exist? I'm not saying that. Don't put words in my mouth. You now just listen, said that. You said, you, listen, you, said the Quran, you said the Quran is exist in the knowledge of Allah. And this is the Quran, my friend. Can I explain myself? Go. 
Do you have a courage to give me a chance for 60 seconds? 60 seconds. I'm going to show you. You're going to cut me off. For the last 10 minutes, you said nothing. Go ahead. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Now, when I say Quran exists in the knowledge of God, every Mm. single thing ever to exist till the future exists in the knowledge of God. Mm. Always. Mm. Always. But you, me, heaven, everything is created. But the Quran, in the knowledge of God, is just spoken. It's not created. Mm. It's just spoken. It's recited. And it was recited well before Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mm. in Allahu Mafuz in the mother of all books, Umul um, mm. Kitab, which is an eternal tablet. And the Quran was spoken well long before that, mm. well before Muhammad. Mm. And then it was revealed to Muhammad later on, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. So, when so this verse Quran, was written in the Lohi Mafuz. So this verse was written in the Lohi Mafuz. Is that correct? Absolutely, but there was okay. a time. So point Muhammad does not exist. So Muhammad does not exist. Zainab does not exist. Allah is speaking okay. about Muhammad is sleeping with Zainab in a board which is not uh, before the mankind is created. You are saying that, correct? Muhammad was sleeping with Zainab. What do you mean by that? What are you saying? Zay, the the wife of Zaid. This is the verse, chapter thirty-three, verse number thirty-seven. That Zaid, yeah. Allah, he says to Muhammad, "You can have the wife of Zaid." The wife of your son. Mm-hmm. So you are saying that this is existing the knowledge of Allah millions of years before Muhammad and Zaydis exist, correct? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. But this is mean you just admitted that this is a programmed human being, not a free will, because if Allah he wrote the story of Zaid before all mankind is created, like my name is not there. My name mm-hmm. is not in the Quran. I am the one who said that the Quran, yeah. the Quran. Is in the knowledge of Allah. Is only the Quran in the knowledge yeah. of Allah, mm-hmm. or the other word of God too, or only the Quran? Hmm. Internet of the neighbor. Abdul, are you there? Hello. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, I, hear I couldn't you. hear you. Okay, listen. So, yeah, it was about the only, only, yeah, only yeah, okay. you, you say that, that Allah he wrote the Quran in the tablet, correct? Yes, he okay. recited and and the pen wrote everything. Okay, the From pen, the guys, the pen write the, 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 the pen he write everything. everything. Okay, written, okay, that's wonderful. Order of God, okay, the pen, how, the pen. how the pen he wrote everything? Allah he recited to the pen. Allah recited or Allah just uh, ordered the pen and a pen write it as Allah will. Okay, so the pen is connected to the brain of Allah. Uh, come up to the command of Allah. How the command of Allah will work if this unless the pen is is the pen is a creature? Is it a pen is a creation of Allah? Yes. No, no, he's a creature. He's a living creature because you said Allah recited to the, the pen. Allah can make Allah, you said Allah, Allah, he have the Quran in his Do knowledge. That. And then okay. the pen, he took the knowledge of Allah and he wrote it in the t- tablet, correct? Okay. How the pen get the knowledge of Allah? To make a pen to have awareness? What? He can make a pen to do what? Hmm? What happened? The pen is what? <clears throat> you're, you're breaking up. Uh, sorry. Where, where, where okay. the, the so you are, I was, was asking you how the I pen. Will call you back. How the pen? No, don't go. Don't go. Hang up. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, okay, now you are getting into a little bit silly, silly. No, 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 because you are trying to understand how the word of Allah came to existence. So you are being silly now. So how the pen, a pen of Allah, get to know the word of Allah? Because you are saying to me, there's only one guy. His name is Allah and there's his pen. And Allah did not give it to the angel. He gave it to the pen, correct? Look, we can say uh, that a pen was even before the angels. Now, that's Who wonderful. says the angels were before and the pen was after? I don't care, that? but Allah, he did not give it to the angels. He gave it to the pen, correct? Give it what? The, uh, his knowledge. His knowledge? What do you mean? Allah commanded and the pen wrote it. Well, aren't you, saying, aren't you saying that the Quran is from the knowledge of Allah? 
Yes. Okay. So what we gave him, we gave him his knowledge. knowledge of Allah. But we talking about is the Quran created. We are talking about the Quran. Created. Yes. Hold on. So the Quran, when Allah He gave it to the pen, He gave him his knowledge. Correct. He doesn't give his knowledge. Don't put words in my mouth. You so what he gave him then? Seriously. Isn't it the Quran? Isn't it the Quran? Isn't it the Quran? Isn't it the Quran part of the knowledge of Allah? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so he gave him his knowledge. It's, it's part of the knowledge of Allah, yes. Okay, so he gave him part of his knowledge. Do you agree? He doesn't give anything to anybody. What, what do you, you mean? You are the one who says he gave it to the pen to write it down. He doesn't get he gave command to the pen. Okay, command to the write. pen what? To write it down, whatever Allah to write did, what? to write it down and to write what? To write what? To, to write to write hold on. He command the, the pen to write whatever what? Allah he, oh, it's just on Abdul. Listen, he command the pen to write what? Everything from the beginning to the end. Thank you. So Every Allah He gave His knowledge to the pen from the beginning to the end is given to the pen. No, no, he doesn't give his knowledge to the pen. He commanded to, like, for example, if I tell you to write something mm. down, mm. yeah, that doesn't mean you have that knowledge. I mean, you're just writing down what I'm telling you to write it down. But now, I, but now I have it physically. But now I have it physically written in a tablet. So what do you mean you don't have the knowledge? You, you doesn't have the knowledge. You're just writing it down. What do you mean yes, you I'm writing it down. I have it. What is the point you're trying to make? Okay, what is the point? What hold on, point? hold on. Let me show okay. you everybody how stupid this story you gave me. Why Allah writing his knowledge in a tablet? He is afraid that his his brain will be fried and in the backup. How does it say anything? I lost you. Hello. Why Allah he needed a Hello? backup? Why Allah he needed? His knowledge to be okay. written in a uh -huh. tablet, Abbas. I don't, I don't know why you're running away from the point. I was no, we are not running. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are yeah. going in a direction, yeah. and you and you, yeah. and you and be my witness. Here we no, go. We will no, see no, no, why no, Allah. No, no, everybody is laughing right. at your stupidity you know, no, and the stupidity of Islam. If Allah is God, if Allah is God, why He need to give a pen His knowledge to write it in a tablet? And now we come to a conclusion that the Quran is not a created. What does have to do with this? I mean, look at the stupidity. If Allah He wrote it in a tablet or not, who, why this is have to do with the creation of the of, of the the world? I will tell you why. Because you Muslims, you say that the Quran was always exist in the knowledge of Allah. But when the Quran became a Quran, it has a beginning. That's what I'm trying to say. Quran. Okay. Has a beginning. If Quran have a beginning, that means there is have a, 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 it's a created. Nope. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's not created. But you just said have a beginning. Yes, it has a beginning, but no, I'm kind of a the, beginning. The is one that. is any created. It's, it's, the one is any created. Have no beginning. As an example, Jesus says, "Before Abraham, I am." So what? So you it, are saying to me what, that there is a beginning. What, okay, what you are means. saying to me. You are saying to me there is a beginning for the Quran, but it's not a created. That is a silly. Okay. The second you say so, there's a beginning, that, that's mean before that beginning point there was no Quran. Let me tell you how silly what you just said. Mm. You said Jesus says before Abraham was I am. That means he is for always. Yeah, mm. he existed mm. always. Yeah, mm. that's what you're saying. Yeah. Mm. yeah. How long ago did Abraham exist? Doesn't matter. How long ago? He is he is saying to them. He is speaking to them about their father. This is the this is the father. This is the father of the prophet. This is the father of the prophet. He is saying, and not only that. Any oh wait what about what about the alpha and the omega? Well, just just don't be silly. When I say before Abraham, I am. That's mean. And they said to him, how you can be for before Abraham? You are not even fifty years old. So they are speaking to them about Abraham because they believe in Abraham. Don't be silly and don't be stupid. Now we go. So, Jesus and existence. And Jesus and existence. Before Abraham, Jesus existence before <laughs> his birth from his mother. This is what Jesus is saying. Now the Quran you are saying to me, there's a start of a point of existence. So before that point, there was Quran or there's no Quran? Quran was in the knowledge of God. Yes. You see, Quran but you just said, God. but you just said there's Quran, a start. Quran you see how silly you see how silly you are. You just said that there is a start of the Quran. 
there's a beginning of the Quran. Yes. Okay, how there's the a beginning, the but there is no, but, but there's no creation because if he, if there's a point of beginning, that means there was before that point there was no Quran. Okay, the difference between Quran and the creation of God is this: mm. that we are physically being created, everything in the uh, in heavens and the earth. Mm. But the Quran, Quran is not. Quran is a recitation. Doesn't and matter. Doesn't matter. You see, you see how silly you are. You see how silly you are. Just let's just show you. Hold on, hold on. You just say that the Quran is a physical being because when you say it is a recitation, recitation is a is a wave of energy, and it's not something that exists. It is true. It's energy. It's yes, energy. It is energy, the same <laughs> as any material. So I can I can destroy a, 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 the earth by voice. Even the Quran says that Allah He destroyed towns by voice by screaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are, you, are, you are sadistic, man. You are sadistic. I'm asking okay. you. You no. see, let's see. Sadistic, sadistic, Abdul. Did Allah yes. destroy? Yes. Did Allah destroy towns and cities by His voice? That's Allah's command. Not command <laughs> by His by, by screaming. So you telling me that Allah could not command something without saying it, just thinking about it. Allah can't destroy just, just thinking. I'm asking you, <laughs> did Allah destroy the people of how Allah destroy the people of Ad and Thamud? How Allah destroy many towns and many, many cities? Did he destroy people by sound? I tell you what Allah, Allah did. Allah mm. put the loudspeakers everywhere around the towns. Mm. And when loud, loudspeakers go high, the towns destroyed. How about that? Mm. Yes. So are you are you are you making fun of your uh, your God? I'm making fun of your foolishness. Mm. The how you are putting everything in a box and have to go your way of thinking. You telling me that God cannot destroy things by without. I'm asking you: Did he thinking. destroy them by his voice? Uh, did he destroy? Did he destroy using his voice? You said that yeah. voice. You said voice is not a material. You said the Quran is a recitation. Okay, <laughs> is the recitation is a recitation? Is the recitation? Is the you know? It's getting very boring. Is the recitation the voice of Allah? Is the recitation the voice of Allah? Okay, I started uh, when I called you. Uh, actually, I was having a nice walk and I was listening to you. And uh, when you say, the so you have no answer. So you have no answer. You are the I one who said to us, and you know, and, and look at this. As usual, Abbas, he talked too much. He say no reference. Did you give me any reference for what you said? Can I say something? You need to say something. This is what you say to me. Can I say something? And then you say nothing. Is it true that the Quran will come in the judgment day as a man? Reference. We talk about reference, yeah? I'm we asking you. Is it true? How was I show reference? No problem. I'm asking you. Is it true? Uh -huh. Is it true? Is it true uh -huh. that the Quran the is it I'll true? Know, is it I'll true? Show, show you the either you the say yes or you say no. Is it true that the Quran will come as a man? Uh, I am really coming to the conclusion. I know why you can't find. I'm God asking you. Is it true so the Quran? Unless you, uh, unless you improve Abdul, your manners, you Abdul, will Abdul, never find a Abdul, Why you don't want to answer? If you are saying to us the Quran is not physical, how the Quran is coming back as a man? Stop saying that yes or no the way you said. Otherwise, you will never have. I'm a asking you: Is it why? In, how the Quran? Your, how, do you agree with your? Say, do you agree yes, with your no. prophet? Yes, do you agree? No. Do you agree no. with no. your no. prophet? Do you agree with your prophet that the Quran is a man? You changing? You changing? Isn't it? You're I'm not changing reference. topic because you are reference. saying to me the Quran is not a created, but yet it's a man. That means there was a man always. His name is the Quran, and he is not created by Allah. He was in the knowledge of Allah. He is in the head of Allah. So he was what a pimple. He is a man. So because you keep talking, that means you win the argument. I did not win anything. It's not about winning and losing. We are, we are, we are, we are discussing. We are discussing. Is it true that the Quran will come in the image of a man? Yes or no? I'm not going to let you move from your point because you know you. This are is my stuck. point. This I'm is my point. point. You just said to me that the Quran is not physical, but this is not what your God says. I said to you, Abbas. He speak to us. He give us no reference. I can give reference that your God, Allah Muhammad, said that the man and the Quran is one. May I allow to say anything? 
Please. You keep saying to me, I'm allowed. I'm waiting for you to say something until now. You said nothing. I'm asking okay, you. Okay. So I'm saying you to you, I do listen carefully. I'm losing my patience with you. Is it true? Is it true? The Quran, is it true? Is it true? The Quran will come as a man. I treat you as a patient. Is it true? Is it true that the Quran will come as a man? Either you say yes or no. You talk about the reference. Did you give me the reference? Here we go. It's in the front of you on the screen. It is in the screen. Here we go. It's in the screen. It is in the screen. Quran is not created. Yeah, the reference is Quran is not created. No, it says the Quran. Here we go. There is no reference. The website is full of them. But I'm showing you a hadith about the Quran saying about your prophet saying the Quran will come as a man. Do you remember the reference I asked you when I called you very first reference? Which one? You? Which one? I say Quran is created. Says, Quran is not created. All this Show article the in the front of you, it's full of reference. Fatwa number. Reference. Shut up. Fatwa number. Publication number. Uh, uh, in 2001, let us see the fatwa number. They don't have a number for it. And they are asking, was the Quran revealed? The, the, uh, the title is the Quran was revealed by Allah not created and here they are giving you all the reference with the proofs Fatwa number by who your shakes and you agree with them why you are debating about it if you agree with them you you agreed with them right agree with who with the shakes that they, uh, the Quran is not created do you agree or not I don't follow the shakes I follow Allah and his uh, okay where well, Allah he said to you Quran is not created I I follow no shakes. You see how stupid you are? You are the one who said to me, I give me reference. And then I ask you for the reference. Okay, where Allah he said the Quran and the Creator. Go ahead. I, I ask you the Quran and Hadith. Hmm. Reference from the Quran and Hadith. For me, I believe the Quran, the Quran is a created. Tell you, the Quran, Quran, Quran is a created. And the proof, the proof in the front of me, if the Quran is not a created, how he's a man? Because what do you mean man? He's a man. The Hadith says that your prophet saying the Quran is a man. Okay, I'm done with you. Have a good night. Peace be with you. Where are you going, Abus? Abus, don't leave Abus. It's in the front of you. Your prophet saying that people will laugh at you. Peace be with you. Abus, I, don't I, run. Your prophet story. saying the Quran is a man. So how is a man yet not created? May Allah guide us all. You what Allah guide us? The Quran says Allah will guide not no one. Coward. May Allah guide us all. <laughs> are you going to let me speak? And you let him speak. Here we go. All of them, they are a copy of Shabir Ali. They speak for two hours. They say nothing. He gave us no reference. He gave us no proof. He gave us no logic. Allah, guys, he have a pen. He ordered his pen to write the Quran, but the Quran was in his head. The verse about Muhammad having sex with this woman in his head. What is that? Just to show you the stupidity when they say that the Quran wasn't the knowledge of Allah. Chapter 8 is a great example of this stupidity. The Prophet, he said, that Allah told him, Quran, remember the Quran is the knowledge of Allah. Okay. The knowledge of Allah is saying, that Allah said to the Muslims, 20 of you with patient can win against 200. And 100 can win against 1,000. This is the knowledge of Allah. The knowledge of Allah changed. They went to the war, they lost. They came back. And he said to them, Now Allah, he lightened your task. Because, وَعَلِمَ أَنَّ فِيكُمْ مُضَعْفًا he knew or he found that you have a weakness. Okay, where was the knowledge of Allah before? Don't Allah have a knowledge that they cannot make it? 20 cannot fight 200 and 100 can fight, cannot fight 1,000. One, so Allah is correcting his knowledge. And now he enlightened their task. Now because he found that you have a weakness. Change the translator. You will see how the translation changed. Trying to cover the problem here with this madness because there's no way that this is God. God, He have knowledge. If you know the Jews, He gave them victory, even if they are no match. Who cares if they are one to ten or one one? If Allah says you will win, you will win. Now Allah has lightened your burden. 
وعلم and now he found out now وعلم now he found out that you have a weakness okay so what the change now so 100 can fight 200 but that's mean the error of Allah was a huge from 1 to 10 to 1 to 2 where was the knowledge of Allah before they go to the fight but Muhammad he exaggerated he was igniting the Muslims to go as the verse even saying here we go read it O Prophet exhort the believers to fight so he was trying to make them yeah he will win one of you will fight ten of them will win Allah told me that they went to war they got busted Muhammad he came back when he saw his men and their diapers is all over with the blood he said to them oh just Allah before you open your my brother and sister Allah right now he just informed me that Allah he found the weakness on you brother where is the knowledge of Allah so when they say in the knowledge of Allah it is in the knowledge of Allah that the sun set in a murky water it is in the knowledge of Allah that baby is made from a sperm and became a congealed dead blood it is from the knowledge of Allah that Allah placed mountains in the top of the earth it is from the knowledge of Allah that Allah do not remember which one he created first the stars or the grass this is the knowledge of Allah what do you say Any Abdul? And the Quran that created. So now we have two holy, divine, eternal, and a created. So how you say Muslims are monotheism? Is Allah and His Word is one? No. How you say that Allah and His Word is not one, but yet the, the Quran is from the knowledge of Allah? That means the knowledge of Allah is not Allah. Are we saying, guys? If the knowledge of Allah, if the Quran is the knowledge of Allah, and then you say the Quran is not Allah, that's mean Allah and His words are not one; they are separated. And then the funny, this idiot, he says there is a beginning, there's a start for it. Okay, how you just say there's a start for it, and you say it's eternal, you idiot. If the word of Allah is the knowledge of Allah and you just say there's a beginning of it that's mean Allah in a certain point he was zero brain he have no knowledge because you just said there's a start for it all right crazy cult they do not know they do not know their what their religion is teaching And here, by the way, as long as we have this verse in the front of us, O Prophet, uh, ask the Muslims to go and kill. And not what? Look, you cannot have a prisoner of war. Kill them all. It's not for a prison, the Prophet to take prisoners. So what is the request? Kill them, slaughter them all. Which means take no prisoners, slaughter everybody. So why they say ISIS is not Islamic? They bring the prisoners. They kill them, and this is what he did with the Jews. Take no prisoners. It's not for a prophet. It's not for Muhammad to be a Muhammad unless he make a slaughter in the land. Do you see it? This is the message of Muhammad, the message of slaughtering. And here we slaughter Allah lies every day stupid cult all of it is about legs and women private part and sex if there's any truth in this cult nothing the knowledge of Allah like who is a Muslim when I call me and show me the knowledge of Allah so we can die laughing the knowledge of Allah 
that a human being is a sperm in his belly in his mother belly for 50 days the knowledge of Allah that if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a woman female resemble the mother is that the knowledge of Allah That's a lot of knowledge, my friend. If this is the knowledge of Allah, so what is the knowledge of the stupid one? Look at the knowledge of Allah. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first? The child resembles the parent. How we can prove that this is about a boy Look, very simple. The hadith here says, you have to connect the hadith. And by the way, Muhammad always contradicts himself. Look at this, look at this, uh, look at this prophet. Muhammad, he claimed that the last stage of a creation of a baby is male and female. The last thing after you are finished. And this is absolutely false. From the first second, the semen fertilized the, 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 the egg, the gender is decided. Not the last thing, but look at this crazy guy. The semen stays in the womb of the mother for 40 nights. That is the knowledge of Allah, which is in his head of Allah, which is written in the tablet of Allah. Do you see it? This is knowledge of God? My friend, uh, Abel Hanna, we cannot use videos of others because they flag us for copyright. So I cannot use Yasser al-Habib videos. I don't use any Muslim videos because they play the game saying a copyright thing. Otherwise, I have no problem. Hmm? Any Abdul? Yeah, but still they can right away. Sometimes right away they can they can take it down. Once I posted the video before I finished posting, I found it banned. YouTube, you know, they are chasing certain people. You know, they are watching you carefully. You know, there's a lot of people love what I do. He was copying Joshua. I'm not sure you are talking about what topic now. Any Mohammedan like Abbas, smart like Abbas? Christian Prince, what is the proof that Allah, the Quran is not created? I asked him for the same thing. I said, I said Muslims believe in that. What to prove? You Muslims have no proof of anything. What is the proof that Allah is exist? Nothing. What is even the proof that Muhammad himself is exist? Because Muhammad, his name cannot be Muhammad. Muhammad means the praised one, which means God. How a guy who is trying to make us believe in one God, yet he call himself Muhammad, it's impossible. Because Muhammad means the praised one. What is the proof that this Quran is exist? You don't have any original copy of the Quran. The Muslims now they have Quran, which is recitation of recitation of recitation of recitation, blah 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 blah, to more than two hundred years after Muhammad, and yet nobody have the recitation of Hafs as a book. Which means what? Which means even after that date, they are just reciting the Quran, no book. <clears throat> Uh, 
and even the Muslims agree that there's a Quran according to Revelation and there's the Quran of Uthman the one we are reading now is the book of Uthman not the book of Allah Uh, give me the verse, uh, you know, when, when you talk about something, please give me the verse to be sure it matches our topic. <clears throat> Same time here, the one who is predicting your victory is God. So if a human being, they have a weakness, well, don't God knows the weakness already? If God, he put conditions on you to win or to lose, as an example, if his God is with me, who could be against me? So what is the condition? God to be with me. But here the Quran is saying clearly that Allah is with them. He is the one who is saying to them, go for war. There's no way he is not with them. Right? He is the one who sent us to war, and then he is not with us. And same time, the Muslim they say to us, if Allah wants something to be, He say be. Okay, don't Allah want them to win or to lose? Madness. Any Muslim? What do you think? Let us see what Mr. Fadi is saying. Fadi, did you leave Islam or not yet? Fadi, did you leave Islam? What do you think about these, those saying that the Prophet was polite all his life before prophethood and Quraysh used to ask his help to deal with the conflict? Eh? I mean, who is going to witness to her baby? <laughs> if you go to the zoo, my friend, and you ask the mother of Shapanzi, how handsome your Shapanzi? You will see he's the most cute Shapanzi, but he's a Shapanzi. So you want the Muslim to witness to Muhammad not to be polite. What about Muhammad saying that the one who is proud about his parents or his father or heritage Tell him to go and bite the penis of his father. Was he polite? Is that how you solve the conflict? Is that the polite guy you are talking about? Is that the same person? Go and say to the person who is proud about inheritance, go and bite the penis of your father. And look how the Muslim, they translated to hide the story. Look. They say that the prophet says, go and bite him. Bite him? Are you sure? The prophet was ordering Muslims to bite people? So you are proud about your father. He was a good man. And then the prophet, he ordered the Muslim to bite the guy. Are you sure? But in order to cover the, 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 the disgusting story, they says, go and bite him. But he's not saying that. He says, go and tell him, bite the penis of your father. But even with their stupid translation, is it stupid? Because what is the polite Muhammad? Muhammad, he is, uh, he is, what is that? Who let the dogs out? What do you mean, go and bite him? A guy is proud about his family. What's your business? Why do you want to bite him? So they tried to cover the story. Muhammad did not say, go and bite him. Muhammad says, Here we go. Tell him, go and bite the private part of your father. What about uh, the 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 uh, all all that the uh, the campaign of Muhammad? They are very very trashy people. Look at this one. I 
Abu Bakr was speaking to a man who is a kafir he don't believe in Islam what he said to him go and suck the clitoris of a lat which is the black stone suck the clitoris Let's see. Here we go. فقال له أبو بكر إمسوس بذر اللات إمسوس بذر اللات suck the clitoris of the lad. This is a debate. So I am debating Mimi Hijab. He said to me, "Go and suck the clitoris of this woman." This is how the Muslim they talk. Are we lying? Any Muslim will say, I'm, I'm lying. This is the reference. And this is the hadith. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2731. No lies. All with reference. Anyway, guys, we have to say it at the end of this, as you see, no Muslims, we made a challenge. We got only one Abdul he dared to call us, and he said nothing as usual, and he's always driving. He know nothing. He's just a person, poor person. I feel sorry for this Abbas. He tried to defend his cult, but he have nothing. Allah, he have a pen, and Allah wrote, wrote his book in the, in the tablet. Why? You see, why we write? Why we write? I write so we can transform information from me to you because we are not eternal correct because our memory is not eternal too we have a loss of memory we have a loss of health and we are born to die so we write Allah who is supposed the Almighty God as they claim his memory is losing he have a pen and he have a tablet and he wrote all things in his tablet. Why? How silly that. And nobody can see that tablet. He put that tablet between the eyes of an angel. His name is Israfil. And that the reason for Israfil to look, to have a cross eyes. Because always he tried to read the tablet, but he cannot. And the tablet is the size of the earth and the heaven. Very big tablet. Why is so huge? The Quran can be written. There's I saw I saw an article about a guy who wrote the Quran in a in a walnut cover. Why we need this huge tablet? Because Allah's vision is, is is very weak, and the angels they have they need the glasses. So the letters have to be very big, huge. Size does matter in Islam. But yet no Muslim can tell us why Allah need the tablet and why Allah need the pen. Allah ordered the pen to write. Why? All of this is coming from legions before Islam. That God, he have a tablet, he wrote all his orders, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you know, I can accept this if, if Allah, he wrote those things to send it to us. But not to keep the tablet for himself and nobody can see it. So to make it, to make it, uh, you know, to finish this, otherwise we will spin into into tomorrow. This is very stupid cult. Muhammad is so a man. He claimed that he is an angel, and later we find that Muhammad said that this is, was a person who come to him. In the image of a man, his name is Dahya. Dahya al-Kalbi. Do you believe it? Dahya al-Kalbi. Let us see the hadith. I'm trying to find it. The website is not working.
Okay. Let's try to find it for you. Because I hate to mention something without giving the reference in English. All right. Wait a see. Uh, read with me carefully, guys. <laughs> oh boy. In the case of your power, don't be to enter the bazaar. As the first and the last to get out of that because there is a pistol and the standard Satan is said there the fact that the Muhammad is teaching them that shaitan he lay eggs in the bazaar so don't enter the first don't enter the last because Muhammad he loves superstition stuff and he said I was informed that Jibreel come to Allah Apostle and there was with him uh, uh, um, um Salama, and he began to talk to him. He then stood up, whereupon Allah Apostle said to Musalama, "Do you know who was, who was he? And what he said? He's asking his wife. Do you know? She said, "Oh, this is Dahil Kalbi." <laughs> Muhammad, he speak to his boyfriend, the Hail Kalbi, and he yet he claimed that this is Jibreel. He thought she did not know. He thought she never know this man. But this is the Hail Kalbi. But no, it is Jibreel, brother. Jibreel look exactly like the Hail Kalbi. In different hadith. It says the following let me pause the reference for you for, for you first so if people want to save it you know feel free I mean and now, and now people they can so the hell can be now he can go around and he claim he's Jibreel he can talk to people give them orders he's Jibreel he can claim that he's coming from Allah right so now we have to Jibreel because we have to the Kalbi, we have Jibreel who come in as the Hel Kalbi, and we have a, a the real Jibreel who is, and, and, and the real Dahya. So now how we will know which one is the one? Anyway, there's many hadith actually speaking about that, but all things lead to one end. That Muhammad is a false man. As simple as that. I want to say thank you guys for being here. It's time for me to go, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to focus more and more in uh, in finishing the translation of the Quran, so we can have it published as soon as we can. Uh, it's a very slow process. Sometimes I like I spend three, four hours just to. Uh, finish one page you know imagine because we want to be sure that we gave you see the problem is not the Arabic the problem is to find the most close words in English otherwise English Arabic is I mean it's very clear for me but uh, the, the English part is the hard part where you can find the perfect or the most close because you know the problem is in translation that there is embedded uh, uh, culture in the language you know what I mean like sometimes we say things but as a words they mean nothing you know what I mean like uh, if you go in the Quran you will see the Muslim where, where Allah says Alif Lam Mim if you remember but they don't mean anything but for sure for the one who wrote the book at that time it means something but because the Muslim today are disconnected, they stole this information from the Aramaic people. They put it in their book, and they have no idea what they mean. So 
always language like when the Muslim today they translate the word Azar. And they think that Azar is the name of the father. Of Abraham why do they think that because simply they are disconnected with the language this is a book which is containing Aramaic language and they think that Azar is the name of uh, Abraham father but the fact this is a word coming from foolish so uh, 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 Abraham is saying to his father Azar are you a fool are you a foolish and then the Muslim they make it as a word mean is as a name very funny so in order to get the most accurate translation you have to find words which is fit with the culture not only with the meaning you know what I mean and that make it really difficult because English is very short language compared to the Arabic Arabic is a very uh, very rich language you know the Arab Christians before Islam, they have the most amazing point, which nobody can make like it until now. All the five heroes of poetry in the history of Arabia are Christians. All of them. And nobody was able to write poet like them. Not like the Quran, which is a stupid book. And, and the amazing thing about their language that they can make a, po a poetry of a thousand line, yet they don't repeat a sentence twice. This is telling you how much words they have in their memory, in their brain, and how much the Arabic language is rich. As an example, uh, if I go right now to Google, and I type this, I will search just for the name of the lines. In Arabic, the name of the lion. Let's see if I can find the website. Hmm. All right, this is Mr. Lion. It's just a, just an animal. This is an animal. You see? Let me show you the names of the lions in Arabic language. Hmm. Look with me. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is all is the name of a lion. It's not, we are not done. We are not done. We are not done. So, you know, more than at least 300 to 400 names just for the lion, because those are not really just names. It's like a picture. So when you say, when you choose a name, one of them, you are choosing a description. As an example, how long his hair, how big his eyes, how etc. He have a, how big his body, how small, how so the, every name is an individual picture for this animal. When Muhammad came, he fought. He fought all those who say poetry. Because he don't want anyone to make something look amazing while the Quran looks stupid. This is why there's many writers and authors. Like there's a guy, his name is Al-Mutanabbi. You can search his name. Al-Mutanabbi, he claimed that he is a prophet. He is better than Muhammad and look what I can do. Nobody can do what I can do. Nobody can write what I can write. And if you read the writing of Al-Mutanabbi, you will be amazed. And you can ask any Arab. It's the same, any, it doesn't matter really. Doesn't matter what the names of the animals is. You know, the Arabic is a very, very rich language. And and those those names simply are coming uh, from the Aramaic. You see, Aramaic is the mother language. And those who live in the desert, because they live in the desert, they have nothing to get busy with except language. They have the moon, the sand, language. So you will see the Arab before they used to have a festival for poet. They were they are a lot more civil than today. They cannot compare between the Arab before and the Arab today. So they have a festival for poetry, 
where everybody bring his best and he make a stand like a speaker corner and he starts saying his point and people they either clap for you or they don't like your point and they move away that was the Arab before Islam after Islam all of this die because Islam make everything haram as an example there's something is called a saja saja is the same as the Quran but the Quran is not good to consider to saja even Muhammad he's claim that that uh, some people they are uh, uh, performing magic on you by their speeches literally magic not metaphorically because Muhammad he don't want the Muslim to listen to those people who they are really they, they have a very amazing Arabic scales not like the stupid Quran let me see if I can find the hadith I, I just this hadith came to my head like I, I last time I did read the hadith maybe uh, I don't know maybe 20 years ago I'm trying to remember the hadith what it was because this is how I search for them I don't really remember their numbers I remember the hadith itself Let us see. <clears throat> yeah, I need to remember. Okay. All right. Let me. I think I just remember. All right. Do you see what he said? Two men they came from the east, and people they were amazed with their skills of language. Do you see it? Muhammad he was he always he is a person he felt he felt humiliated. He felt totally humiliated. Because look what those people are just did. They are not saying they are prophets. They are not prophets. They are just men who stood to speak. And people, they were amazed of their Arabic. So Muhammad, what he claimed, the reason people, they were amazed of them, he said that some, of pe some people who speak in such a way, which is amazing, it's a sorcery. Do you see it? And thank you for reminding me of this hadith. It's a sorcery. So if the Quran is amazing as the Muslims they claim, that's mean the Quran is a sorcery too. Who won the reference? Nobody? Nobody. It's a sorcery, my friend. Anything is good is a competing with Islam Muhammad he claimed that it is sorcery because they came with something a lot better than what he can bring his Quran looked like a little tiny midget next to, to what those people said I'm just giving you reference some reference like this is Sahih al-Bukhari and by the way the translation is not really too much accurate Well, I just uh, what I can do. I just I'm said I'm leaving, and an idea came to my head. Because I'm passionate and I love to serve and to to share my knowledge. So yes, I said I'm leaving, and actually, I'm really tired. I did not uh, uh, I did not sleep good, and I have little headache, and I'm hungry. So all those things together, and I'm speaking for hours. All right. So I'm just sharing the reference with you. So later, if you uh, if we speak about it, you guys maybe you can help me uh, to get it back. 
so uh, uh, this is this is a proof you know like why those people are why Muhammad accused him of sorcery I mean is that logical they did not do anything they did not do anything wrong there's nothing wrong in their speech people they were amazed of their speech which means their speech was speaking about something good not a single person was upset except Muhammad he claimed that this is sorcery because he could not explain why their speech is so amazing so if Jesus come to make a speech in Mecca Muhammad he will say to Jesus this is nothing but a sorcery right anyway this time I'm leaving that's it thank you guys for being here don't forget please to download the videos and uh, share them with your friends and remember always that uh, if you want to see an amazing speech which is logical wise beautiful and touch your heart and your family something can live with you day by day go and read what Jesus said I could not and I will never find it doesn't matter what language I read the Bible with I cannot find somebody can touch my life in the day and the time of the internet in the time of satellite in the time people go into the to the to the space better than Jesus because he spoke 2,000 years ago yet what he said to us fit with our life today and with tomorrow not like the Quran which is silly and stupid in its time even the Arab they made fun of it so I am amazed with my Lord his wisdom his beauty and his peace and the most beautiful thing about the Messiah he speaks simple but his simple is so deep he speaks few words but his few words is better than books imagine if the whole universe practice one sentence of Jesus love your enemy you will not be poor I will not be poor nobody will be homeless we are spending billions and trillions every country in the world for defense for everybody adopt evil not peace and love love your enemy if a China love USA USA love a China love Russia everybody loving everybody then who need an army and who need the police the money we spend for destroying ourselves killing each other can be spent for children's for schools just one sentence of Christ teaching better than all human right books which is false and nothing but hypocrisy when the powerful person do aggression nobody speak about it when a poor person he break a traffic light you get a ticket in the in, in a second Jesus don't take a side Jesus don't make a book for rich neither for the poor it is for all of us believe in me and you live and the best life you live is with the life with Jesus when you adopt his teaching because that will give you peace and mercy same time mercy in yourself before mercy in others forgive and then you will release your hate you will release your anger you will live and mercy will be upon you love your enemy then you have no enemy you will be like a an amazing beautiful pure child who is just born it is so beautiful and it's so amazing and God do not need very high quality speeches of languages to present himself the true God is the one who made his words simple yet beautiful simple but touching God do not need to make a book and then this book nobody can understand it unless those who have PhD in languages because that means the point of the book is gone the point of the book the point of the speech that a farmer who stand in the front of me he can understand it a person who have no education he can understand it not somebody spend 20 years of his life to study language I want to say thank you May the Lord bless you, and I will see you again. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books. And this is just another way to support us. 
lately YouTube they send us a message saying they cannot make a donation because we violate their terms and conditions and obviously they're trying to take a to, you know to take us down so I really appreciate those who help us and may the Lord help us all the Lord is our provider he took he gave and the one who took for free he gave for free thank you and see you soon bye bye